Hey guys, it's me and we're flipping things and I won a liquidation auction at my local liquidation place, which is called Buy the Pallets. So I have to go downtown to Buffalo to pick it up today and it's only a few minutes away from um, like the Goodwill headquarters for Western New York. So I'm gonna stop at Goodwill and then I'm gonna pick up my winning auction and then come back and show you guys what I want. So stay tuned and we'll do some reseller things today. All right, I just pulled into Goodwill and I'm gonna go see if I can find anything cool and then I'm gonna go pick up my liquidation win auction thing. But you guys know I suck at filming inside of thrift stores, so. <laughs> Sorry in advance. <laughs> All right, I just came out of Goodwill. <laughs> I spent a hundred dollars, which I did not mean to do. And I just stopped even looking stuff up. I was just like kind of going by my instincts. I never know if that's a good thing, but you can see my bag is totally full. It is overflowing with stuff. I got a lot of clothes, which that's new. <sighs> also, um, I have been out of breath since I got my second COVID shot. Is that weird? I don't know. All right, we're up by the pallet. Let me go get my winning auction. I can't film inside of there. I wish I could. It's like this old like train station. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's sort of been converted into like all these other businesses. There's like another farmer's market nearby kind of want to go to it but I gotta get home all right guys I just got home um complete total I spent $200 $100 on the liquidation auction that I won and $100 at the Goodwill let me show you what I got I will do once I am done filming well when this posts I'll throw a I'm like in a weird spot I'll throw a little screenshot up of the items so I can if I can find them. I will tell you at the Goodwill, <coughs> I got like excited and I stopped looking things up. That's always almost always a mistake for me, but <laughs> I did it. I don't know. So first, I bought. I always do this. I always buy any new sealed DVDs that they have, and so I just bought them all. I did not scan them. These were. $1.99 each or five for six dollars. Weird math. I wound up with 12 of them. So um, it was 12, 16 dollars for 12. Um, I got iRobot, The Two Faces of January, Daredevil of Niagara Falls, The Stepford Wives, Defender of Earth. Um, I won't obviously put all of these up unless there's any that like really stand out as like big money makers. The Deliver Us from Eva, Sid the Science Kid, Jim Brown Pacific Inferno, X Men X2 United, Blue Valentine, Break the Best of Beekman's World, it's another science one, and The Last Lecture, Classroom Edition. So. I always buy those. The DVDs are never, I'm so sorry, I'm sweating. So I got my COVID vaccine, my second one yesterday, or two days ago. Yesterday, I felt much better than my first one, but I've been like, my temperature has been crazy. Yesterday, I was like, I went from like shaking and under two blankets and freezing my butt off to like sweating so profusely, can't cool off. And I keep wondering like, is this what menopause feels like? Because if it does, like... I can just skip that, okay? <laughs> anyway, so I'm sweaty. So, you know, you get me all the time. 100% Liz. Um, all right. So this I did not buy to resell. I bought this because I need it. It's a Norelco fabric steamer. I have been needing a steamer for the clothes that I sell because sometimes they're, they're wrinkled and they just need to be steamed. This was $5.49. Um, and I'm not selling it. I'm using it. This is a starter jacket. I don't know if all the starter jackets are as exciting as like the puffy 
starter jackets that from the 90s with the NFL teams. But I found a starter jacket in extra large and it's a windbreaker. It's so like 80s. I just love it. So I bought it. I did not look it up. It was $5.99. I mean, it's lined. So I hope this is like a good purchase, but I was I just got excited when I saw Starter and I bought it. Um, I bought a couple dresses only because I've been doing really well with like the plus size clothing. And I am not going to lie, like I kind of wish this fit me. This was $6.99 and it is a dress. Ooh, wait, what? I feel like Michael here. All right. It's a dress and it's really long and flowy and the pattern is gorgeous. And I don't know. I, I don't think it will fit me, but I kind of want it to. So this is Fashion Nova. It's a size 2XL. And I don't know. It is just so pretty. Like, I love it. It's so long and flowy. So I didn't look it up. I bought it because I don't know. I, I just feel like someone deserves this beautiful dress. I wish it was Liz. This is another um, that I bought and didn't look up. This is a 2X Market and Spruce. This was $6.99 and it is just a um, like t-shirt dress. And the thing with this one is it still has the stitch fit stitch <laughs> stitch fix tags on. Um, and down here as well. Now, I don't know much about stitch fix. That's a tongue twister. But I just thought this was really cute, like summer. It's just cute. So I bought it. So if I know what it's worth, it's going to be up here. This was something new for me, swim trunks. I have not done swim trunks before, but I found some nice brands for swim trunks, so I bought them. This was $4.99. These are Tommy Bahama brown men's swim trunks, and they have like um, kind of a cool pattern on the inside. They are size large. Is that focusing? I don't know. And... I've done okay with Tommy Bahama, so I figured I'd give it a shot. This is, I'm so glad I got a steamer because it needs to be steamed. Well, I'm going to wash it first. But this is a Columbia Men's Extra Large Tall. I never find Columbia or North Face when I'm out, and I was just excited to find Columbia. And it is just a um, plaid button down, and I like the size. The bigger, the better in terms of the sizes is what I'm starting to realize. But it's in really nice condition. Like I said, it needs to be washed and steamed and all of those things. But I'm hopeful that that was a good purchase. I mean, it's not the traditional Columbia like outerwear and like, you know, hiking, camping clothes, but it's a cool shirt. And I never find Columbia, so I just bought it. I don't know about this one. This is a 2XL. How much was it? $4.99. And I bought it because it has the Apple logo. I don't know. What size is this again? It's a 2, oh, 2XL. I don't know if this is going to sell for anything. I didn't look it up. But my son, my 18-year-old Michael, golfs. And so if it doesn't look like it's worth anything, it's going to Michael. It's his size, and he will think it's super cool. That's kind of where I was at with that one. This I just bought because it was like unique and cool. And it was $4.99. And it is, you can see, I mean, Frida. That is such a cool graphic tee. And I love her art. So, cool. This one I bought because it was new with tags. I did look these up and they sell for some money. This is the brand The Foundry. Big and Tall Supply Company. This is a 2XL, new with tags, just tan polo. Um, this was $4.99, and it's nothing special, but the brand seems to do well, and the size is great, so I hope I do well with that. 
<laughs> Here's some more swim trunks. I'm taking a risk. I've never sold swim trunks before. These were new with tags. This is an extra large. This is from Tony Walker and Company. They were originally $78. This is a store that's like really popular in Buffalo. Um, I don't know if they have them everywhere else. We definitely did not have Tony Walker and Company when I lived in Vegas. These were $4.99 and you guys, they have buffaloes all over them. I mean, what? And then I don't know what this is down here. I mean, you have to get the buffalo swimming tr swim trunks. They're so cool. So they're extra large. I'm really excited about these. I don't know about other cities, but here in Buffalo, we wear all the buffalo things. Everything, everywhere you go is buffalo stuff. It's just our jam. We just love buffaloes. And then these, I think I'm going to lot together. This is two pairs of Oakley swimming trunks. They're both the same size, size 36. There is a red pair. And that looked like a snake coming out of there. You know what? It's not a snake. It's not a snake. No one worry. It is, I just have to relace these. So um, there's a pair of red ones and in the same size, a pair of gray Oakley swimming trunks. And let's see, it says Oakley. So I think I will probably just lot these two together. See if I can't get something. And these were also $4.99 each. And that is everything I got at Goodwill. Well, I bought two bags of socks just because I don't know about you guys, but in my house, we are always missing socks. All right, let's get to my liquidation wins. So I won this auction at Buy the Pallets for $100. Um, pickup was free. It's here local. And it was an HBA. It has 62 items in it. So I got 62 items for $100, which is a little over a dollar. I think it's like a dollar 40 a piece, somewhere around there. Um, on the video they showed, it was like real, like quick and he would hold something up real fast. So I couldn't research everything, but the stuff I was able to look up looked promising. So we've got like, I'll just sort of show you guys. There's a Rusk Radical Extreme Hold hairspray. Um, an AG Ultra Dynamics Color Care. And these are all new. They did say some would have lid damage. This is a Rusk Working Spray Flexible Hairspray. And I have looked some of these up. This is... This is a medium hairspray. It's for workable, shiny looks. That's so right there, you guys. Another hairspray. Um, we've got your hair assistant definition mist, polish, and separation spray. We've got, oh my gosh, I don't, I don't want this video to be too long. This is Nioxin Body Bodifying Mousse. This one, I just saw it does have a broken this one's got some lid damage, Nexus Maximum Finishing Mist, um, Color Care Extra Firming AG Ultra Dynamics, Nexus Mousse and Volumizing Foam. The other thing I was thinking is that any of these damaged ones, if they're not sellable, like I can use. <laughs> so I didn't feel so bad about it. Joyco Styling and Finishing Spray. Man, there's so many, you guys. There is a bunch of Coppertone Defend and Care Whipped Sunscreen. And I think when I when I was looking at the lot, it looked like there was six or eight of these. They sell pretty good on eBay. Plus, I mean, if you have kids, right? Like, this, I use this all day. We have Joyco um, More Mousse. Joyco, more, oh, more mousse. Is this the same? This is the same. This looks like it's broke. Um, got to be Volume Maniac. A two pack of She's a Tease hairspray. Sebastian Reshaper. 
humidity resistant stronghold hairspray. That's what I need because out here in Buffalo with the humidity, my hair is a mess. Joyco Beach Shake Texturizing Finishing Spray. More sunscreen, more sunscreen, so much sunscreen. Um, aqua, aqua, ash, aquage, uplifting foam, it's mousse. And some of these brands, like on eBay, this definition mist, there is uh, several of these. They sell for, I mean, you know, anywhere from what I was seeing looked like nine to sixteen dollars for a lot of the ones that I was able to look up which is super awesome. This is Schwarzkopf Shine Smooth Botanical Oil Curl Defining Mousse. Um, Oreeb Clarifying Shampoo. Biolage, this is missing a lid. Uh, thickening Hair System. So like some are missing lids. I'll have to, I'm gonna have to go through. This is Aveeno, Rose Water, and Chamomile Blend Dry Shampoo. Ooh, that sounds nice. That sounds nice and refreshing. Nexus Mousse, and in the big bottle is Tresemme Humidity Resistant Spray. And then there's a whole other box. Oh, something's still in here. A little slow. This is... Kenra Platinum Dry Texture Spray. I have not really sold a lot of this sort of stuff on eBay before. I do like the HBA. Um, what I need to look into is, is like, in shipping these, can I ship these first class? I am not, um, I'm not completely sure on that. So I need to look into it and find out, double check that I'm doing everything right. Um, Joyco Mousse. John Frieda hairspray, fashion Red Ken hairspray. Here's a three pack of Got to Be Glued Blasting Freeze Spray. It's screaming hold for hair. I mean, pretty good deal for a hundred bucks, right? This is Rusk hairspray. This is a box Oreeb Beach Wave and Shine Spray. I always thought this was a good idea, beach wave and shine spray, and it was actually never a good idea for me because my hair doesn't look good at the beach. <laughs> it looks terrible. So there's some box damage you can see, but inside it looks all right. Everything looks okay. We have a two pack of Not Your Mother's She's a Tease. Um, Nioxin Mousse. And then I believe literally the rest of the box is the copper tone sunscreens. So, and there's a bunch of those. I mean, how did I do? I think I did okay. I, I feel good about this. Now I start back at work next Tuesday after Memorial Day. So I'm trying to like source now because it's going to be harder. It's going to be harder to source when I'm working and traveling and on the road and I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to keep my eBay store running um, if I'm not shipping every day. So there's like a lot of logistics and things to figure out trying to balance my job and my business, but I'll figure it out. And it was a nice day to just get out and, and do some thrifting and win some hair products, <laughs> oh, enough hair products for a hair salon. And yeah, I feel good. Um, I hope everyone's having a beautiful day. I am going to get to scanning, listing, photographing, and all those things before the kids come home. Um, I have about two and a half hours until the kids come home. So that's two more hours I can put into my business. And I'd like to get this video uploaded today. So um, I have a busy afternoon. And I appreciate all of you. If you haven't liked and subscribed and you'd like to, that would be awesome. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you tomorrow. Have a beautiful day. Listen, if no one told you today, go list. Go list your things. Go list. All right. Bye, guys.